Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a live reading for the sign of Virgo. So if you're a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cap, Node, or if you have a Italian in Virgo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, I reply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, rules can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So in this reading, if you're in no contact, no communication with this person, if there's a separation that has happened here, then this reading is going to be for you. We are going to do an energy check-in on this person. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, we have Justice and the Nine of Swords. Okay, Libra. Bottom of the deck is Ten of Swords in reverse. This person is trying to. They're trying to sort of give themselves a pep talk. They're sort of saying to themselves, it can't get worse than this. They, this person could be experiencing some sort of karmic justice here, and which is sort of make, which is making this person in a very, very vulnerable state is what I'm getting that they are in a very vulnerable state or in a, in a state where things are not okay with this person it's very possible the environment in this person is in that is not okay tower moments could be happening in this person's life something this person uh, the kind of stability this person had that could be falling apart for this person something is happening in this person's life which is so, sort of a karmic justice for this person and this person is in that energy of they are trying to you know they are trying to think positively they are trying to focus on the positive they are trying to say to themselves it cannot get worse from th than this it just can't uh, i will get over this I'm trying to get over this but yeah this is the worst that is happening to me right now anxiety sleepless minds despair hopelessness in the, on this person's side could be anything doesn't have to be just uh, doesn't have to be everything happening all together for this person could be but very well could be like this person is going through some sort of traumatic experience right now something they didn't see coming something they didn't want to happen even no one wants to experience trauma and this is just cause and effect that is happening for this person here. It's almost like this person's, um, they're going through a major test for some of you as well here in their life, a major test they are going through. We have the 10 of swords in reverse, 8 of wands and 10 of cups here. For some of you, this person is like feeling like you have betrayed them in one way or the other. And it's very simply the way you could have betrayed this person is by walking away or simply just leaving them behind and looking forward, moving towards the future, not, not giving your energy to this person, not giving your energy to the past anymore. That's how you have moved forward. And this very well could be if you have decided to leave this person, let this go and move, go your own way here. This could have been a very, very fast decision you have made. Or at least to this person, this is a very quick decision you made. And this person is like this, in a sort of like shock or surprise. Like how could you just decide like that? For some of you, this person almost like this um, it's very possible if this is your energy or this is this person's energy you sort of knew like you could see this ending coming from a distance here you, you could see this happen but this person didn't
lovers here. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, this is this separation that is haunting this person here. It's almost like this person can't get over how this is this is the energy I'm picking up on. This person can can't get over how cool, calm and collected you are regarding what is happening here. I'm not saying you are cool, calm and collected. It might have hurt you as well here. But this person is, they are in that energy of Virgo is taking this very well. Virgo doesn't seem to be affected. It's only me that is hurting. It's only me that is in pain. It's only me that is getting affected by all of this. This person does feel a connection with you, with the lovers here. They do see you as a soulmate, they feel a connection with you and that is why it's like, this person is, is, is in a, this energy of, they don't know how to get over this. This person is finding it very, very difficult to get over what has happened here. person because we do have justice and then we have the ten of pentacles so you could have been married to this person here but it's very possible because this person was putting you through something that it's almost like you you did your best in this connection you you tried to make this work you did your best because you saw a future with this person because you were like married to this person so of course you gave your best you felt a connection you did feel a strong soulmate connection here but it's like you sort of you could have realized that you are overly stressed here or you're going to experience a burnout. But some of you, this is why you let go of this person. And what I'm also getting is for some of you, this person thinks that you are dropping them. You are dropping them. You have just let go of this burden of this connection. It's not exactly burden, but to this person, this person feels like you are just dropping them. You're just done with them and you're dropping them. It sounds a bit harsh, but this person is in that energy of like a little bit of victim mentality, a little bit of woe is me as well. With this person, oh, Virgo is doing this. I mean, we have all the tens here. We have the ten of swords, the ten of cups, the ten of pentacles, and the ten of wands in reverse. These two tens are in reverse and these two in up upright. This person is very much in that energy of and this is this is definitely karmic justice you not giving to this person or you stopping you going your merry way because we have the fool here you deciding to let go of this person walk away drop the burden of this connection and take a risk somewhere else i'm not saying that you have chosen someone else i'm just saying that you have taken the risk to let go of this person or this connection that's the risk you have taken and this person feels like you are good, you are all well, it's not bothering you, you are not affected, you are not hurt. It's just they, them hurting and you are hurting them. This person is literally blaming you for hurting them. Again, this is how this person is feeling, I'm not saying anything here. But some of you, you were just doing it all for this person here or this in this connection or relationship. Very possible you were the one who was emotionally carrying this connection or physically you were carrying this connection here. And you know, I'm getting that energy of you could have like experienced some sort of burn out or you were like after a while you, you sort of felt like why am I neglecting myself and putting everything into this relationship or connection or this marriage. Like you had to experience, you had to literally get burned out. You literally had to get be overly exhausted to realize or to let this person go. Let this connection relationship go. It's that energy of someone who was doing everything they possibly could for this relationship connection. But you still felt like this person was taking you for granted or this person wasn't putting in the equal effort here. 
See you like fine. And you dropped the weight of the connection. You stopped pulling the weight of this connection here. You could have neglected yourself while giving to this personal connection. And it took you a while to realize that's not worth it. This relationship or connection is definitely not worth it. You shouldn't be putting yourself in... Uh, You should be putting yourself first in any relationship that is that is healthy selfishness it's almost like you were doing a, you were going above and beyond for them or this relationship connection because you were in, you did have feelings for them you were married to them you felt that happiness with them you saw the future of with them for some of you it doesn't even have to be marriage it's simply that you saw you fell for the potential of this connection And it's to this person, it's literally like the worst thing that has happened to them. This person definitely sees you as their match. And, I mean, the levels and the Ten of Pentacles, they see you as a match for sure. Seven of Wands and Knight of Swords. They see you very blunt, outspoken. Someone who is not holding back from saying whatever you want to say. Whatever you should have said earlier. You're not holding back from saying that or doing that. You are, it's almost like you were very easy for this person in the past. You were very, very good to this person, very easy for this person. And now you are a sort of challenge for this person. And which is what, what is making this person go, woe was me. Why has Virgo changed? Virgo is trying to get rid of me. Or already has gotten rid of me. But you are standing your ground. Because you are maintaining control over yourself is what I'm getting. person could have there could have been a lot of drama between the both of you a huge conflict happened a fight happened argument happened tension between the both of you and that's it's like there was this one particular moment when you realized you have had enough and that's when you made a decision here but again, that energy of you knew that this is not like your intuition could be your intuition could have already told you that this is falling apart or this is not working out. But you still tried to make this work out. It was almost like this person didn't see it coming. You sort of your intuition, you you knew. You sort of knew. Yeah, you knew. That this is not gonna last. This tower is inevitable. It is bound to happen. It is going to happen. Because the tower happens uh, when the foundation of the connection uh, or the relationship isn't strong enough. So whatever foundation you thought you had, you realize that that, that was not it. For some of you, this person could have involved other options as well. 
even though they were in relationship with you they involved other options and that was that particular moment when you realized you have had enough and you're not gonna put up with this anymore Yeah, Tower, Nine of Cups and Eight of Cups. Maybe dealing with a Scorpio here, but... Yeah, you had some sudden epiphanies. Something was revealed to you suddenly. You could have gotten sudden something like found out something, Lise. Something like found out suddenly. Suddenly found out something about this person here. Some news, sudden news you found out about this person. And you, you are literally like, okay, I have had it. I'm not going to be treated this way. And this, this is that energy of you thought at one point this was your wish fulfillment. That is why you... You could have moved towards this person. You could have given this person a chance or multiple chances for some of you. Now you're leaving it behind. Now you're walking away because who wants the five of wands? And we have the seven of swords here as well. You rushed into this connection because you had a lot of passion for this person and yes that's very possibly why this tower moment happened because you rushed into this connection you you like you wanted to be with this person you felt a connection with this person you wanted the you had the urge to make things happen with this person so you could have jumped into this connection with this person without first seeing things clearly without first seeing this person for who they truly are like you you jumped into this connection for some of you. Some of you had a lot of passion for this person. You were very attracted to them. That is one of the reasons why you could have jumped headfirst into this connection without... And it took you a while to realize that this person is not who they claim to be or they are not saying the entire truth to you. There's some illusion this person is created. They're creating. They're lying about things. They're keeping things from you. Yeah, some of you, this person could have literally treated you like an option. The Seven of Cups. And with the Eight of Cups here, you refuse to put up with that. Seven and Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups in the mix. This person really could have just confused you in a way as well. Whatever illusion they created, it sort of confused you. It made you feel like, you know, like you saw this person in a completely different light than they than, than what they were. You could have fallen for this person's claims as well. You know, like this person claimed to be someone and you just, you just thought, yeah. Okay. This person could have confused you and made you believe that they are who they are, who they say to be. We have the judgment at the bottom of the deck here. We'll be dealing with the Scorpio. Yeah, you could have suddenly realized some things about this person or suddenly found out some truth, some news that hit you hard. This could be just epiphanies and realizations.
King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. And this person definitely doesn't want you to live. Leave. Not live. Leave. Yeah. They don't want you to live. Leave. Sorry. I don't know what is happening. But this person doesn't want you to leave. Leave them behind more like. They don't want you to leave them behind. married to this person this person definitely doesn't want to let you go and this is what this person has realized that they will never find someone like you it's almost like it's not like they will never find someone like you it's going to be tough for them to find someone like you they will have to it's almost this energy of this person is feeling that they will have to put in a lot of effort a lot of energy into finding someone like you again. It's going to be a lot of work. For some of you, as I did mention, you were very easy for this person. You were easy to handle. You were easy to work with. You were... You were very easy. That's what I'm getting here. Like, like you were hardworking. You were not demanding. That kind of energy. Like... It was easy to be with you for this person. For some of you, as I said, you were doing it all in this connection. So, of course, it was easy for this person. You made it easy for them. So, this person is realizing no one is going to make it easy for them as much as you did. Even if they try looking for someone else, what are the chances they're going to find someone like you? The chances are very low. This is what this person, this person is rationalizing things. They're rationally looking at this. And hence they want you. Hence they want to communicate. Hence they want a reunion with you. It's a very... Uh, Selfish, selfish, selfish energy. Like they, they definitely want you. They want a reunion. They want a new beginning. They want a reunion. It's like they have their reasons for it. They feel very secure when they are with you. They felt very secure when they were with you. You created some sort of security for this person. Especially, again, if you were in a long-term commitment or, or married to this person. It's almost like for some of you didn't even like, you were just happy with what whatever this person was giving you or they were doing for you. Even if that was bare minimum, you were still happy with it. And this is what this person is thinking. Who else is going to be happy like that? No one. They might not find someone like you, again, who's just happy with the bare minimum. Friends in reverse, you could be dealing with uh, you could be dealing with Sagittarius. You want things to be balanced here, and that doesn't necessarily have to be with this person. But here, look at that King and Queen of Pentacles. We already have the King of Pentacles here, and now we have the Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you were definitely married to this person here. Yeah? 
where you want to restore balance like you want to feel balanced again you want to be healed you want to be healed you want to be balanced you want to feel balanced you want to feel good you want to be you want to feel being taken care of being nurtured and you feel like this this connection sort of was very extreme like they sort of like this person or this connection brought out a side of you that wasn't really good or wasn't really healthy like this person or this connection brought in a lot of imbalance a side of you that was something you didn't even knew you had that that's the energy i'm getting here and definitely a lot of mental agony some of you feel that situation is so imbalanced that between the both of you that the chances of balancing this out may be very low yeah you want a connection you want a person where there's equal give and take you want a soulmate connection you want a connection where there's there's equal reciprocation it's not like you doing everything and the other person just yeah it's easy let's do this no you deserve it you deserve someone who is with you because they care for you because they love you because they want to be with you because they want to nurture you and you nurture each other you grow with each other yeah again judgment at the bottom of the deck you have realized this is what you want you want a connection or marriage or a commitment where there is equal give and take now for some of you definitely definitely still have feelings for this person if you have feelings for this person and you want to work things like for some of you you have feelings for this person you still care about them and you want to work things out with this person here you want to work things out with this person And this person wants to work things out with you as well. The motives might be a little selfish, but they do want you. They don't want this to be over. They don't want you to leave them behind and not care about them at all. could be dealing with a scorpio or a cancer this person is realizing you have three of pentacles did come out you right now you have the courage or you have the kind of will power to to leave them behind so for some of you this person thought that you you are never going to leave them you know they took you for granted because you're not never going to leave them you're never going to go away you're always going to be there for them as their safe space as their safety net as someone who's always available at their service but now this person is realizing oh you 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 can leave them behind you can let them go you can walk away it's almost that like this person did underestimate you some way or other like you didn't have it in yourself for some of you you are if you are very focused on your career and you are working on something uh, that is 
you know, like you're working on something that it, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your money, you're hustling somewhere or other, and that is bringing in success. That is, like you're building something right now for yourself. For some of you, you have started focusing on your career. After what this person did, whatever they did, you, you just took all of your energy and started focusing and started putting it in your work. Started hustling, started uh, focusing on securing the bag. And once you did that, you very well could be achieving some sort of success. You are moving forward in life. You are progressing. You are achieving things. You are getting recognition for your work. For some of you. And this is making this person again very, very jealous. Like you, you are going to end up doing all of this without them. You are, especially if this was a marriage again, you are leaving them and moving forward. You don't care about them anymore. You don't care about this connection, relationship, marriage anymore. to manifest you. Gemini, uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini or another Virgo. Yeah. This is someone who's definitely afraid. Yeah, they are seeing you as this nine of pentacles. They're definitely afraid to approach you. A uh, bit of like scared to approach you, but they want to. But yeah, this person is sort of. I'm getting that energy. This person is going to come in with that energy of "woe is me, I'm so sorry." Like, you know, like crying tears, like not crying tears, crying crocodile tears. There is a possibility of an equal give and take here. There is a possibility of it. But it's like that energy of you, you have to, you cannot, if you want to make things work out with this person, you cannot put yourself in the back burner once again. You cannot treat yourself as second priority. you and afraid to approach you. Yeah, the Ace of Wands again. Yeah. This person wants to communicate to you. They want to talk to you. Yeah, they have feel this unfinished business with you with the Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. But yeah, they want a new beginning. They're afraid to approach you, definitely keeping an eye on you. Uh, they do have information about what you are doing or not. Yeah, they miss you. They miss all the good times, the good memories you have. Yeah, see, that there's that energy. I did mention, right, you could be building something. You are very focused on your work. Keep putting your work first. Keep putting yourself first here as well. Whatever you are working, you have this could be a new project you have started or something that is like really going to work out for you. It's really going to help you get your, that recognition that you truly deserve. It's going to work out for you. And that's where your focus needs to be. No matter if you give this person a chance or you don't want to give this person another chance, it is free will is always involved. But you need to... Set your priorities straight, yeah. 
don't give in to drama don't fall for drama don't fall for this person don't don't waste your time arguing arguing with this person getting into disagreements um don't don't fall for the drama anymore that's what i'm getting here go where it makes you happy the fool in the ten of cups not where there's a lot of drama okay yeah multiple choices you also have realizations epiphanies understandings awakenings so yeah this is you have certainly realized something you timid here so they are afraid to approach you yeah hoping expecting manifesting they are trying to manifest you back we did have the magician right yeah beginnings starting over this person is trying to manifest a new beginning here of course they are scared but here yeah, they are i like your reading uh, virgo i hope you found some clarity through this reading I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care guys. Bye-bye.